This is a continuation of the Cambridge exam paper from June 2016, paper 3.2, question 2. You will remember that we've already worked out all the entries that need to go into the manufacturing account and the statement of income. What we need to do now is look at how to calculate the manufacturing profit and finish it all off. Now that we've finished entering all the information, we can do the totals and finish this off. The first thing that we will do is, you can see we've got our total of our raw materials and our direct wages, so we need to work out what the overall prime cost is, and you should end up with an amount of 1166500 over here. So you can see all the blue is your direct costs that could be attributed to the making of the actual product itself. Then let's have a look at the green, which is your factory overheads and the rest of the statement. So your factory overheads are going to work out as, um, so if you add them all together, you can have a total of 171,000, which you can then add together with your prime costs, um, add your opening work in progress, subtract your closing work in progress, and you will then end up with a total manufacturing cost so far of 1341,000. Just a quick note, um, if you look at the solutions that you've got, they used a single column format instead of the two column format, but in a lot of your exams, they do use the two column. Um, and in the single column, they haven't actually done that exact calculation there, but that doesn't matter. A lot of them, you're getting the marks more for where are you putting the actual amounts? Um, are you putting it in the correct place and using it correctly is more important than your actual totals, except obviously for at the very end. Right. We are now shown that the manufacturing profit was 15%. We already worked that or put that in there right from the beginning. All you need to do is take 15% of your manufacturing cost. So you would say 134,000 one one times 15% and you will then get a 201150. Remember that the reason that we do that is because if we had bought these products, we would have paid a premium for them. The reason that we are manufacturing is because we are able to make them at a lower cost than what we would have bought them for. So in order to be able to work out how profitable is the factory compared to how profitable is the business, you need to separate the profit between the two. Um, one doesn't have to, but it is certainly more accurate. So what you would need to do then is make sure that the amount that you transfer to your trading account, in other words, that goes to part of your cost of sales, in this case, 1542150, that amount over there needs to be market related. In other words, equivalent approximately to what you would have to pay for those products and this difference over here is what profit your factory is actually making and you can see whether it's worthwhile for you to carry on making it or not this amount then goes to your cost of sales this is very important to understand because otherwise you're not going to know what the link is that is your cost of your goods if you were buying and selling stock, it would be what you'd bought. Your purchases would come in over here. But in this case, we are just getting it from the factory. So we transfer that amount of 1524150. And that means that I'm able to work out my total cost of sales as 1540. 195 and show it like that. I'm then able to work out my gross profit by simply saying my revenue or my sales, remember that just means sales, minus my cost of sales and that will give me my gross profit of 304805. I then need to also factor in my manufacturing profit because remember that my manufacturing profit over here hasn't yet been accounted for. It is a profit. 
So although this over here is a cost, that is a profit. If I had not added that on to get a higher amount in my cost, I would automatically have a lower cost of sales and a higher gross profit. So we therefore need to remember to take that and show it as part of my manufacturing profit. Um, so I will add it on the amount of 201150 because it increases my profit. My gross profit is smaller, so I need to show the manufacturing profit. At the end of the day, your profit for the year doesn't change. It's just where you are putting your numbers in the meantime to make better management decisions. All of your operating expenses you can then add up and you will realize that you have 180755 as your total. Again, I'm showing my negatives in brackets to show that I need to subtract them. And then I'm able to work out by saying gross profit plus manufacturing profit minus my expenses. I should have 325200 as my profit for the year. Hopefully that clears it up for you a little bit. We'll continue with C, D, and E in another session.